a lot of choreography and yeah. such, and, and in your audition process, tell us a little, share a little bit about that, if you would. Well, um, in order to even get to final callbacks, you have to go to puppet camp for two days, and they teach you just enough to know how much you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's terrifying. I know that um, the people that I knew who had been actors who had learned puppetry for the show, who had done Avenue Q before me, when I was in rehearsals, all called and asked if I'd cried yet, because it just, you get to a point where you're like, it's too much to think about. It's not just making sure she's moving her lips at the same time as me. It's does it end on an M? It's different if it ends on a V, which ends open. Um, it's, she has to walk and talk at the same time, and she has to talk. She has to walk at a much she faster pace than I do because her legs are shorter than mine are. It's making sure that her eyes are, you know, that you fit in my eyes. It's really, your middle finger that's pointing where her eyes should be. But sometimes you'll just forget, and suddenly she's looking over there, and you're saying your line, and it's all wrong. It's so many things for a brain. Never mind remembering the words. It's so much. Or being an understudy. It's hard. It's amazing. <laughs> and then understudies roles. who have to know, yeah. Well, lots of yeah. like Jen, Is it mirror to... work, or are you doing things in the mirror? You learn on the mirror, and then they take the mirror away. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the biggest thing about the mirror is learning where your focus is with these two eyes. Because the thing about a puppet is, as soon as it goes completely profile, it kind of dies. If the audience can, can see both eyes, then it's so alive. learning exactly how much you can turn in the mirror and still have the have those eyes be visible is some kind of... Is it heavy? Really, Do you feel weight? It's, it's not... I mean... It's not the rod, rod as yeah, much rod as the and weight. Weight. Yeah. Just try doing just this for two hours, yeah, sure. and that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a pound or two, add it onto that, and it's... Uh, and then pissed in your arm up and down <laughs> for a little while, so I, uh, walking. But it is funny how it evolves over time. I know that you, you have... It, there are times where we have like two rods and let go of one and grab another, and it's like whatever works. Like whatever will get, you do the mm -hmm. thing where he's crossing and he goes like this, yeah. and his one arm is, is in um, uh, Canada. 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 Yeah. Um, and yeah, and the times where you have uh, it's advanced stuff that I remember the guys teaching us, like Peter Linz, who was um, the guy from Sesame Street, just brilliant, and just him teaching me. And I remember watching him do stuff and thinking I'll never be able to do that. But when he has two rods, mm -hmm. taking instead of holding them like this, taking one of one finger and putting it inside the second rod, like so that can spread them fast farther. Them. Exactly, so she can spread it farther, <laughs> and, it, and um, it just looks better. And, and you think you'll never be able to so much. You think I'll never be able to do that, um, but you do it enough times, and. Uh, yeah, eventually you just keep, t eight times a week you get bored, so you start tinkering with how can I fit home this, how can I add more detail, more uh, polish to uh, more specifics of, of reactions, the ways that she, everything that she does. It's been the cool, I was obsessed with the Muppets when I was little. It's the coolest thing ever. I didn't even know. I feel so lucky. What a special skill to have on your resume, you know? And the 